Netflix 4K streaming is coming to Windows PC later this week, but only for the lucky few using the 7th sev generation KB Lake processors from Intel, i.e. people with money to burn and for some reason think upgrading every fucking new Intel chip is a good idea, and big YouTubers who have sponsorships from Intel and they give those fucking little things out like candy. They give out those CPUs like candy if you have a following. But not me though. Intel couldn't give a shit if I lived or died. And they feel the same about you. Unless like your J's two cents or something. Or Linus Tech Tips. Netflix launched 4K streaming in 2014 on a select number of TVs before rolling it out to dedicated streaming boxes like the Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and Nvidia Shield. 4K streaming on PC was notably missing from the rollout, due in part to piracy and DRM concerns from Hollywood studios and TV networks. Really? Like you think you can stop pirates? Really? You know, the fucking, the West East India Company couldn't stop Blackbeard, but for some reason Hollywood thinks they're gonna stop some kid in Korea or fucking you know, some other country, he just feels like doing this. You can't stop it, so why fight it? It's like trying to fight the sunrise. I'm surprised companies don't sit there and go, we're gonna try and make it shine less sun because there are people who have solar panels and we want them to pay for that energy. In an effort to placate the studios, Microsoft introduced Play Ready 3.0 with the Windows 10 anniversary update. Play Ready 3.0 is a hardware-based DRM digital rights management system that requires dedicated decoding hardware either on the CPU or the graphics card, preventing the video stream from being captured in software or via external capture device. Yeah, that's really gonna work for a while, I'm sure. How did that work for you, music industry? Exactly. There's also a matter of hardware decoding support in the 10-bit HEVC, the 4K codec used by Netflix and other streaming services. Currently, only Intel 7th generation Cabulate processor supports the 10-bit HEVC decoding. Older 6th gen Skylake CPUs only support 8-bit HEVC decoding. Technically, NVIDIA's 10 series graphics card, including the 1080 and 1070 and 1060 features 10-bit HVCE decoding and play ready support, but aren't listed as compatible. What a surprise. And then there's the browser 4K streaming only works Microsoft Edge because it's only the browser that supports play ready DRM, basically streaming 4K Netflix on PC required CPU that is <sighs> barely any device right now. Desktop chips aren't expected until somewhere between 2017 and the latest version of Windows 10 using an unpopular browser, making it largely less of a feature. Who says DRM is bad for consumers, huh? That was written by Mark Walton. You might have remembered him from GameSpot if you ever bothered with that dying site. For a little while, Mark Walton was one of their uh, hosts and personalities, and he tried to bring PC gaming as more to the forefront on GameSpot. Then one day, he just vanished, and now he's on RS Technica. But enough of his life. We're back to Gundam. This is bullshit. I mean, really. The fact that they're hiding it behind piracy, to me, is just ridiculous. You can't stop piracy. People can get 4K shit otherwise. There's 4K shit already. Like, who wants to download it? That's my problem. Hell, I begrudgingly download video games I pay for. It just takes so fucking long. And frankly, if you have the dedication to download something in 4K to either A, jerk off to or watch, I think you probably fucking deserve it. And frankly, people pay for Netflix. Netflix is making so much fucking money that they're putting out shows you don't want. Full House 2? Really? Fuller House? You make me pay an extra fucking $8 since I've joined, or three, whatever the fuck, I'm paying extra, and this is what you give me, Fuller fucking House. Thanks, Netflix. Let me enjoy DJ fucking Tanner again. I hated DJ when I was a kid, I hate DJ now. I mean, not personally, but just the whole fucking rigmarole makes me want to smoke a cancer stick. Jesus Christ, and the fact this shit is on 10 series GPUs like NVIDIA, like if you pay for it and it still doesn't support on these goddamn expensive ass overpriced Maxwell refresh GPUs, it's bullshit and a half. And then the last kicker in the fucking nuts is the fact they want you to use Microsoft fucking Edge. Microsoft Edge. I've never opened it. I'm gonna open it now. You know what? It took me a while to get my fucking mouse on the right monitor, and by the time I opened it and looked at Microsoft Edge, I immediately saw what a bad idea it was. Fuck this. All this goddamn hardware and DRM in your fucking computer regimenting your life and making sure that you can't do anything they feel is too naughty. What the fuck happened to freedoms for God's sakes? This is just so douchey. Now if you really want to do 4K streaming, you have to get KB Lake. And the people are trying to market this shit too. 
the people who want 4K streaming just because they have a 4K TV, a monitor, and use a computer occasionally would probably just go to fucking Best Buy, go to Geek Squad, and go, I need a computer at KB Lake because it has 4K. But then again, people who are interested in that sort of stuff probably wouldn't even notice, let alone care, until someone else told them. Once again, this just, it's a spit in the eye to anyone who uh, has a already a fucking Skylake CPU or even like Broadwell or whatever, and you're sitting there and it's like, well, what little they give me for the upgrade isn't enough to justify me. The, the CPU itself, another 340 bucks or so. You know, then you gotta get the fucking motherboard. Then you gotta get the RAM. Now we're looking at if you upgrade to a 7700K with decent RAM and a decent motherboard, you're spending at least $650. This isn't more or less an upgrade as it is a shakedown. <sighs> I'm gonna go back to reading AMD news. Well, I don't know about you, but this is not cool in my book. And I'm not interested in buying KB Lake, so I can't stream in 4K and screw it. It's just sad if you have a computer that can run games in 4K. You can watch YouTube in 4K. But you can't do Netflix in 4K because they're worried you might steal something. It's a little bullshit to me. Oh well. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you as always for tuning into my channel, even when I put out videos with such anger and vitriol. And uh, adios pichachos. I'll be baking cookies for me and my cat. You're welcome to join us.